I got this comment from Appleman59, and if you're a collector of 1920s radios, and of course the speakers so he can use the radios, this is very important, the polarity of your 1920s speaker, because if you hook them up backwards, you will demagnetize the speaker. And what will happen is this, the speaker performance will become less and less and less. So hooking them up correctly is very important. Now, I hadn't thought of how to do this before. How can you tell when uh, uh, you don't have any indications which is positive and negative? And quite often on 1920s speakers, you do not. Nothing's marked. They just wired them up at the factory, and if you don't have the wires anymore, you're out of luck. Well, like I said, I didn't have to do this before because all mine are marked. And the rib is the positive. The wire that's ribbed is positive, and the one that isn't is negative. But if you don't have wires hooked up to it, or they're both the same, how do you know which is positive and negative? Well, I told Apple Man... 59 that I had an idea and I tried it and it works. So I did a video on this and the speaker that I used is this peerless speaker about 1924 somewhere in there. Pretty nice speaker and it's marked so I could verify my results. And this is the setup I'm uh, just using a power supply, and I've got it set at 19.25 volts. And I'm going to use that to energize the speaker. These speakers usually run on about 90 volts. So I don't want to go any higher than that because, uh, well, it's not in a circuit. So we'll measure the resistance and then we'll do our experiment. And when you take a look at the setup here, in front of the speaker, we're looking at the back of the speaker now, I've got a compass. That's what's sitting on a plastic box, and there's nothing in that plastic box that's, that is magnetic. Okay, now we'll take the ohms of the speaker and it reads almost 1400 ohms and that's very typical for a 1920s speaker okay it took a little while to find this spot, but when I bring the compass up, you can see that it points north to the back, and some manufacturers might have the a different configuration, in other words, might be south instead of north, but this one's north. I'm going to set this back down. This is non-magnetic down here. And, okay, and if I increase the magnetism of this, this should swing toward north, which means that would be the right polarity. But if it moves in the other direction, that would be wrong. And... These are marked, so I know what's what, but this is how you can find out, uh, because on the inside, I guarantee you it's not marked or anything. You got a rib here. I'll take a closer picture of that later. And this one's plain. Okay. This goes to the negative in the circuit. This goes to the positive in the circuit. So, typically, 
this would go to the battery, this would go to the plate in the radio. So I've got about 19.25 volts here and typically these speakers are running on about 90 volts. So I'm going to hook this up the way that it should go. And it does move toward I'll do that again. It does move toward the speaker pointing north. And if I reverse it, which is wrong of course, it actually does move in the other direction. We'll do a close-up of this and do that again. I haven't moved anything. Let me get my leads. And remember the rib is positive and not ribbed is negative. Okay, again, I'm going to hook this up correctly. Rib is on the positive. The other one's on negative. And you can see that it moves. toward the speaker, which means it's increasing the magnetic field, but in the right direction. Okay, so that's the correct polarity. And if I reverse this, it actually moves in the other direction. Wrong polarity. One more time. Crack polarity. Okay. And again, got to move it away, you know, otherwise it'd be way too strong. You wouldn't be able to see anything here. So it's got to be a little distance away so the magnetic field is uh, weak doesn't help it when your compass sticks there we go okay do this one more time Let's see, where's the rib? Here's the rib. We'll hook it up correctly. See? Okay, that's increasing the magnetic field. That's what you want. So, you should be able to uh, determine the polarity using this. And it's going to take some experimenting to get this situation. Thanks for watching.